This video is just a quick example of how to calculate an operating expense ratio. Let's take a look at the question. It says, what is the operating expense ratio of a property that has an EGI, or effective gross income, of 138,000 and a net income of 82,800? Well, this is a little different than what you may be used to for this question. In this case, the EGI is 138. We don't know how much the operating expenses are, which is what we need to find out. But we do know that the NOI is 82,800. All we do is just take the portion of the stack and work it backwards to find out what those operating expenses actually were. And in this case, we take 138 minus the 828, which was our NOI, it's right here, and we find that the operating expenses were $55,200. The question asks you, what is the operating expense ratio? Well, you know that the operating expense ratio is your operating expenses divided by your effective gross income. So in this case, we're gonna take 55.2, and we're gonna divide that by 138, right here, and our operating expense ratio will be 40%. What does that mean in realistic terms? What it means is, of our effective gross income, or the income that we're actually receiving, not our potential, but our effective or actual income, 40% is going to pay our operating expenses. Banks look at this to make sure that when they get to the debt service and mortgage payments, that there's not so much going out in expenses that somebody could not afford the mortgage payment.